want to talk about another girl who, uh, girl, lady, awesome lady. Uh, she's also a broadcaster. She's been in the game for quite a while, but there's something that she had, she hasn't been doing for quite a while, and that's <laughs> cooking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's making news that she just stepped into the kitchen and everybody's going crazy that she can actually cook. Yeah. So there's a lot of girls who can't cook, all right? And this particular one is because it's Julie Gishu, I guess. Yeah. And it's interesting because, uh, first of all, she didn't post a picture of the actual omelet here. Yeah, she posted the after. We need to see what it looks <laughs> like. We need the making of. Receipts. <laughs> and, but I want to read the post for you because she actually came out and said this herself, okay? So she said, I have developed a love for healthy food and even cooking. For those who are not aware, I am a terrible cook. Many years ago when I was at Capital FM, things were getting serious with Mr. G, so I decided to come clean on all issues. Honey, is it issues or issues? Anyway. That. <laughs> Honey, you need to know I can't cook. He laughed and uh, I was dead serious, but okay, now she's learning how to cook, okay? Yeah. And she's starting small, she's starting with an omelet. Kanza, she would have started with like a boiled egg, and then that's how you start. <laughs> Don't think a boiled <laughs> egg, slowly. Brenda, boiled what? egg does not qualify as cooking. <laughs> but you, you think she made an omelet? No, you yeah. know what, there's, there's that post of um, how do I cook an uh, eggs with tomatoes, and then you see someone has put two eggs, like they're not and then they're they're in the <laughs> shell, and then tomatoes in a sufuria. So, so I like the fact that she's, okay, we haven't seen the omelette, so yeah. I'm hoping she's not that bad, because mm. I saw this post, it's been going viral. Oh, really, really, mm. really, really, you can't cook. Hey, okay, then he's Sweetheart, said, we, yeah. oh, we were all brought up differently, remember that, yeah? Because there's some people who actually, that was not a priority when you were being brought up. You had, you know, the people to do that for you, so it never really came up. Unless but she had, she had about more it. to say, She right? had more to say. So She's she not said, done yet. Mm. A few days later, he came to my apartment with a bag of groceries, then sat in the sitting room with the newspaper. Okay, I said to myself, he's playing house and trying to test my kitchen skills. This is disastrous. No one to turn down, <laughs> not one to turn down a challenge for things I care about. I took his cue. Into the kitchen I went and I did my very best. Her best was not very good, I'm assuming. What's your very best, Ella? What's your signature dish? Do you, can you uh, guys whip it in the kitchen, Carol? Oh, let me tell no. you. No, no, no maybe no, no. I, Girl. This table, anything go. You can say food. Mine yes. is biryani and you've had my livers. Yes. I can have, no, I, I Ella can on. cook, you guys. Like, she brings me food a lot. <laughs> what? When I eat food, you don't pass it. You can't judge food. Oh, my God, yes, no, I know I eat a lot, yeah. but. <laughs> you know, we can't tell. <clears throat> yeah. Brenda, because you like here, thing. It's okay. like you can throw it in. My signature dish, I have a couple, actually. Yeah. I make pilau really well. I make peanut matoke really well. Re seriously. The real deal? The real deal. Okay. I make biryani real well. I, I make everything. What about you, Pierre? Honestly, I do. But my favorite is just ugali. Mm. Proper ugali. Mm. And the fried beef. Mm -hmm. mm. And the, you know, the skooma, whatever. But I always have to serve it with lala. Maziwa lala. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so 